Good day ladies and gents, my name is Hills and I'm discussing and this is a crazy crazy video. I don't even know what's going on, but I woke up this morning expecting just to see the normal things on Twitter X and just read from it, see some news and probably talk about some of them while I'm preparing for my next longer video. And I see the bombshell. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast is now being accused heavily with a lot of video and picture evidence that he or she or they, whatever you like to call this person, were grooming minors throughout years and I'm not talking about one. There are several reports on that from several people. Now you all know who Mr. Beast is, you know who Chris is, both of them have been together on Mr. Beast's channel since almost the very beginning and uh, Mr. Beast has publicly spoken about Chris since the transition that they have been friends and they have been together since the beginning and being very close to each other as a team because when Chris Tyson started transitioning there was a lot of controversy of leaving his wife and his child to become someone else that they feel like it and they don't feel like being a man anymore they don't feel comfortable the standard trans things that happen in someone and now they're involved in a huge controversy which does feel like the doctor disrespect case however with much more evidence i'm gonna read from the channel drama alert here on x we have a video and a screenshot, it's two screenshots actually, that allegedly point out to potential grooming and I just want to put this video on so we can watch it and have some thoughts. This ain't true. This, this is Lava. Uh, this is the girl nice that, one -on -one with or a man, point, I don't know. He would have been 16. And here we go. Here is the picture. This uh, is the picture from together. this person, Lava. I'm gonna censor his face. And as you Another can see picture right there, from uh, there, Lava. There's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. There's a doctor. Chris Tyson so probably something of a promotion of you. Chris Tyson was in college. And of course, the moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods, which, by the way, very secluded area. Let me talk about that. This Anytime is Chris that someone is taking driving a the van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods, it, it's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. So the real question is, if he was talking to Chris Tyson, who is interested in both men and women, since he was 13 years old and Chris Tyson was in college, why did he take a camper van out to see him and take it out in the middle of the woods in this secluded area? And then he met up with him like two days later, like, like the picture was posted. So this clip is from Prism42 on YouTube. This was the disclosed by a drama alert. This clip in its essence, it sounds weird. At the very least, it sounds weird to take a van and go allegedly to the woods with probably some 13-year-old at the time. This is very weird and very sketchy. Like, you don't know what the relationship is. Like, if they're close, like in relatives or to mutual friends, or is he the child of very close friends, family friends? You don't know that. But even in, in that context, the, the least and I'm trying to be very, very neutral here, is being very sketchy, very weird behavior. We continue with another revelation about Chris Tyson supporting a cartoon artist like who draws very, very explicit thing by the, uh, by the name of Shadman, who has some very, very weird content, like very unhinged, very uncensored on every level. He draws fantasy stuff and... It's, things it's 
very on the border of a lot of very bad things. So it's just pushing the borders everywhere at all. And apparently Chris had commissioned this. However, this has not been officially confirmed. As we can see from this, you have a comment that this is a misinformation. So this is all alleged as of this moment. And we have the tweet from Quadring who posted from Dexerto that alleged victim of Chris Tyson slams accusations as massive lies. Chris did nothing wrong so this is the if i'm guessing right the lava person who might i don't know if a man or a woman in this case who a lot of people were saying that they paid him hush money just to say these things although you can say the same thing about the other way around that someone paid some people to accuse him so you 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 can go both the ways on that thing and i don't condone any sort of actions that might be carried out by chris tyson like if i i wrote on twitter this morning if he did do those things just full full-blown cancel can, like cancel and do anything within the law and the full full force of the law should be imposed on him i even joked about taking the hank room if you know who this uh, historical figure is laws on him but until it's all proven it's very very hard to keep your emotions and to just be neutral and that's what i'm trying to do because i can easily fall into my emotions and just either go and ask for a lynch and ask for them to be removed from society but that's not the right way to go and then you have a tweet from one of mr beast's former crew jake franklin jake the viking who wrote jimmy new now jake he has been quite vocal today he's posting a lot of things especially from breaking gnn about alleged snapchats that have hap have happened i'm not going to go through those snapchats because they were already deleted and i don't know the authenticity of them however there have been some conversations between uh, chris and this 14 year old allegedly from a certain time period i know that chris has already deleted uh, his snapchat so there is no other response from him regarding the situation except deleting the tweets deleting the channels deleting his content and then we have alleged uh, revenge porn video that i have not watched this is from an older channel of chris tyson if How's it going, you guys? let's let's watch the video here How's to going, see you guys? So recently everybody's been hearing about the Jeanette McCurdy leak of her photo what the story is she sent um pictures to her boyfriend her now ex-boyfriend and um he leaked them out and um she is a very popular nickelodeon star on the show um iCarly and probably be seen as the pulling of the show it'll probably be taken off the air second of all um you'll probably see the photos get taken down at some point tonight maybe tomorrow because nickelodeon has that kind of power the but, the audio um, is very terrible. Description if you want to see him, I mean, I'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business, but I know that, uh, you know, people might want to see him, so there, it's there if you want it. Uh, first off, what I have to say, though, is that when you uh, look on the news, you see people, they've leaked um, nudes from their girlfriend at a high school, and that, little, that girl kills herself. It's a tragic story. Everybody calls the guy a bully. But um, yeah, when people like Perez Hilton do it, it's considered entertainment. So you kind of have to think about where the right and wrong is, really. And um, I think it's all wrong, personally. I don't think somebody should leak photos that were sent in trust. But I guess if that's how Perez Hilton wants to make his living, it's up to him. You be the side. Yeah, you decide if it's moral or if it's immoral. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. So, what I gathered is he's being neutral on a revenge porn pics. Uh, and I, from this post, it seems that he shared the revenge porn pics. And I don't, from what I heard from the video, the little that I heard from the video is that those pics were shared and he was saying that everyone can guess if this is moral or not and trying to take a like a neutral stance this is basically around half 
of what is on the internet and this is very very fast developing and there's no response from Mr. Beast, there's no response from Chris Tyson, there's no response from anyone on their team or their channels. I'm guessing that there will be a response after a few days because I'm sure that Mr. Beast himself will launch an investigation into all of this and will contact every person and try to take this thing to the clear point and just uh, doesn't don't leave anything hidden because if nothing else this is damaging to his brand a lot this is crucially damaging and if nothing else he'll try to put out those fires as much as possible so whether or not he'll be parting ways with Chris Tyson or he'll try to defend him and put those things into light with the legal team and with the investigative team it remains to be seen but as it is up until this point whatever your thoughts might be on the matter the simple fact that chris wrote with minors even though he wasn't a minor and he was well in his 20s even it's nothing less than weird this is the 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 softest thing you can say it's weird it's a very very inappropriate looking very sketchy and it it doesn't leave a good impression this is the softest verdict that i can put on this situation even if everything comes out to be fake or misinformed or misunderstood and if nothing actually happened it will still be a very weird behavior from chris as a person and it will no no doubt damage mr beast and it it's already damaging jimmy as a person and chris reputation is down the drain like it will be many many years before anyone forgets about that this is very similar to those doctor disrespect situation and you have a lot more apparent evidence that have come out even though they weren't totally verified they're alleged and the authenticity needs to be completely verified and to see if everything checks out but Still, the same thing happened to Dr. Disrespect and while he admitted to some things, there weren't as many things as we have in this situation. So I know what people expect. They expect now to hear for people and for the crowd to have the same reaction to the Chris Tyson situations from as they did with Dr. Disrespect. So this is what's happening and this is what is going to happen. In any case, it's a messy situation. I'm trying to keep a neutral standpoint because I only care about facts. I don't support or in any way want to lynch anyone without any proof. But if you haven't speak to one thing or the other, then that's where I'm going with because that's what's the most crucial thing that you can have in such a situation. All of us have seen wrongfully accused people and all of us have seen people who have been dismissed and have turned out to be guilty of everything that they have been accused for later on when it was too late. So let's stick with the evidence, let's stick with the information we have available and let's drive from there. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me. I'll keep a close eye on the story and all the other stories and any development. I'll update you on my channel and on my ex. Please join me on my Patreon where I gather 100% of every profit to helping homeless animals. Join me on my socials, uh, Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Cheers and stay fresh.